Hi and welcome to this new rigging tips series. So in this series I'll be going over some quick rigging tip videos. These will be pretty much random topics within rigging, but you can always refer back to them if you forget anything. So my aim for these videos is to have each video under 5 minutes in length. And like I said, the topics will just be ones that I think of. So in this video we're going to learn how to delete constraints as well as get back channels in the channel box that we may have hidden because these are some things that a beginner might not know how to do. So let's start off with the constraints. So to delete a constraint you simply select the joint which has the constraint applied to it. As you can see, the channels here, the rotate channels, are in blue, which means that a constraint has been applied to it. And if you look under the shape node in the joint, you'll see an orient constraint has been applied. And an orient constraint basically means that only the rotate channels will be constrained when you move the control, and they will rotate from the child's pivot. So in this case, it will rotate exactly from this point whereas a parent constraint it rotates from its parent so for example if we were to create something here and apply a, a parent constraint then it would rotate from the parent instead so it would look like it's orbiting the parent so that's just a quick simple explanation about the two the differences between the constraint types. So we'll learn how to delete this. So first of all there's two ways to delete a constraint. One way is to click on the name, hit Ctrl C to copy it, and go up the top here to the select by name field, paste it in and hit enter. Now once as you can see only the orient constraint is selected, then you can simply simply hit delete and it gets rid of it and it's no longer controlled so as you can see it's no longer being controlled and everything's back to normal so the other way we can do it is we'll just show the shoulder example here select the shoulder joint move to the outliner hit the F key to find it and just extend this and as you can see the orient constraint is in the hierarchy here. So again you can just simply hit delete and that's that. So those are just a couple of ways to delete constraints in case you didn't know how to do it. So now we'll learn how to get channels back in the channel box because if you remember right if you watched my arm rigging tutorial you would see that to clean things up in the end we actually got rid of the channels that we don't need as these we would only need to rotate so how do we get these back? Say for example we accidentally hide some of the attributes we don't need. Well it's actually very easy to solve. So first of all just go to edit in the channel box slash layer editor channel control and here you can see our cable, non-cable hidden and non-cable displayed. Now when you walk and hide something or if you just hide something like the translating scale values they will automatically go into non cable hidden so all you need to do is scroll down and find them so as you can see there's the scale and here's the translate so just drag and select then you, if you hold control you can drag and select the others then hit the move here to move it back into cable and as you can see they're all back same goes for visibility. And then after that, you can just select all of these. As you can see, they have a dark shaded colour here. That means they're still locked. So you can see if we were to try and move this, it wouldn't happen. It's greyed out. So to unlock them, very simple. Just select all of them. Right click, unlock selected. And there you go everything is free to move again you can toggle visibility off and on to it 
So thanks for watching this video. Again, this is just going to be very quick tips, but useful ones, just in case you forget anything that was explained in the tutorials. So, who knows what we'll have in the next tutorial, but I'll get working on it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.